Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy, and in this video, we're going to do a Reclaim.ai review. We're going to try to answer the question, should you use Reclaim.ai for calendar scheduling? Let's get started. So when daily life gets busy, calendars can be a very handy solution. We can use them to plan our tasks, our habits, and meetings with other people. But our days do not always go to plan. Meetings may conflict, tasks may get delayed, and daily habits may turn into weekly occurrences. At that point, rescheduling your calendar may become a task in itself and eat up a lot of your time. Now, Reclaim.ai claims to help us with exactly that. In essence, it's a rescheduling and calendar blocking application, and it uses AI. So it's intended to help you rearrange your calendar so you can get the most important stuff done. Let's now take a look at whether it succeeds at that. The basis of Reclaim.ai is that it does not plan tasks, habits, and meetings at an exact time frame. It can do that, but it also has a functionality that allows you to move tasks around in your calendar a bit. Instead of planning a task at, let's say, Monday, 12 a.m., exactly that time, Reclaim.ai asks you to suggest a time frame within which the task has to be finished, let's say between Monday, 12 a.m., and Wednesday, 5 p.m. Based on your priorities, Reclaim.ai will try to reschedule that task within that time frame. This allows for a big degree of flexibility in your planning, and if something comes up and is more urgent than the task that was planned, it can move the less urgent task in favor of the more urgent task, like a meeting for example. However, that does not mean that Reclaim.ai just moves around tasks infinitely, and Reclaim.ai has a defend functionality. So you can define to Reclaim.ai, at one point, I want this task to get done. At that point, it becomes impossible to book over it. I personally quite like the basis of this application. I like having a degree of flexibility in my planning, but also knowing that I need to get something done before a deadline. Let's now talk about the distinction between tasks, meetings, and habits in the app. Reclaim.ai makes a distinction between tasks, meetings, and habits. Tasks are fairly simple. They're just a one-time task that does not reoccur. So you just do it, and then it's out of your calendar. These can move around freely within a specific time frame. Habits are reoccurring tasks, something like eating breakfast, eating lunch, going to the gym, walking the dog. I quite like this distinction between tasks and habits because habits are very important to reach long-term goals. And you can also use this habit functionality to block off specific sections in your calendar. So if you really need to eat lunch every day, you can tell Reclaim AI, don't book anything over my lunch time. The meetings functionality is also quite useful. It allows for a certain degree of flexibility in planning meetings with another person. Now that person does need to have Reclaim.ai to optimally work, but if you both have the application, so you and the other person, Reclaim.ai can try to reschedule your meeting within a specified time frame. Let's say that you want to meet somebody one time per week, at least. Then you can choose a preferred time slot for that, but if one of you cannot make it, Reclaim.ai will try to reschedule the meeting based on your calendars. Both of your calendars, I mean. Now, even with this rescheduling functionality, it is still possible for tasks to overlap. And at that point, you simply need to choose which one is more important to you. Reclaim.ai also has taken this into account. You can tell it what your priorities are amongst your tasks. So if one task is more important than the other, you can tell the application that. It's another function I quite like. Now, since Reclaim.ai is a scheduling app, you may be wondering about its calendar integrations. And there's quite a lot of them. In my experience, the integration with Google Calendar is fairly seamless. You're just integrated by connecting your Google account and you're ready to go. It also has some integrations with other applications. Let's say Todoist. One function that you may like if you work with multiple colleagues, it allows calendar syncing. So different calendar softwares can be synced together within Reclaim.ai. So you can plan meetings across multiple calendar softwares. Another nice function here, Reclaim.ai allows you to schedule in decompression time. If you need 15 minutes to yourself after a meeting, you can plan it in, and you can also set that to private. Now perhaps the most important part, pricing. Reclaim.ai offers a free plan that in my opinion is more than enough for personal users. If you don't work in a big company, or you don't have to plan around cooperation with others a lot, then I think the free functionality is quite nice to try out. If you need some more integrations, or if you need more management tools, you're looking at eight to $18 a month, depending on your needs. So what you may have gathered from this video is that I'm actually quite positive about the application. In my opinion, it was fairly useful. 
And to answer the main question of this video, should you use reclaim.ai for calendar scheduling? I would say, yeah, give it a try, see if you like it. That was it for this video. I hope it was useful to you and that you enjoyed it. And I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.